What is going on guys? Today we are going to be discussing how to refresh the vendor stock inside of the dark zone so that you can find new stuff. This is real easy to do and if you're in a group and you've gone to all of the vendors on the map and you haven't been able to find anything you'd like to spend your money on, the first thing you're going to do is go into group management. In group management, you're going to want to leave your group. All right, so leave the group. All right, once you have left your group, you are going to travel back to the dark zone. It might require you to fast travel. So go ahead and fast travel back there. You can fast travel to the subway morgue for now and then just walk to the dark zone being as it's a little bit quicker if you spawn all the way back at base. All right, once you have gotten into the subway morgue, you can travel straight directly back to the dark zone by just finding the path. And or you can just set a marker like I'm doing right here if you like to. And once you get there, I'm going to, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to walk right inside of the doors. And once I'm inside of the doors, we're going to go and we're going to view the vendor stock for the instance of the map that I'm currently in. Okay? So this is just to show you guys exactly what inventory he has so that when I change the instance of the map, you know that it's been refreshed and that this actually works and that I'm not pulling your chain here. So let's go see what he has. All right, as you can see right now, we have a police holder, we have a pistol, we have a we have an extended magazine. So basically just remember the pistol and the police holder. That'll be the easiest thing to remember when we go on to the next video. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna leave the dark zone. And once I've left the dark zone, I don't even know if you necessarily have to do this, but I do. I leave the dark zone, I press select on the Xbox, I know it's select, to go into the map menu. In the map menu, select matchmaking, select auto match, and then go to dark zone and press A. After you've done this, it should tell you to hold down the right stick to accept an invite. See, it says join match. It's important that you join the match and you don't let people join you because it will still be your instance. You have to join someone else's instance. All right, now that we're back, you can see that I am part of a group. If you look at the lower right hand corner, you see I'm part of a group. So as soon as, so now that I know that I'm part of this group, I'm gonna walk back into the dark zone, into the same vendor that we were just at, and we're going to look at his stock to see if it's changed. Now remember we had the pistol and the police holder, and now when we look, we see that we have a carbine and no police holder, we have an adjusted grip, everything has changed. So you can go to every single vendor, and every single vendor will have something new, and you can make an entire circle all the way around the dark zone, spend your DZ funds, wherever you want. The other way that you can easily do this is by just, sometimes you can just select and travel and join a friends group. You can join a friends group, get in there, just leave the party, even if you don't wanna play with that friend, but just join them, leave, and then that's it. So now that I'm in here, I've left that group and I'm going to go ahead and invite my friends into this instance of the group so that they too can make the rounds with me and see if anything that the vendor has is something they might like. Well, this is more of a night here and as usual, um, I hope that you guys share, like, subscribe to the channel. All that stuff helps us a lot and game on guys.